Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. God bless and stay tuned for more on how to keep the Sabbath day holy. God bless. How to keep the Sabbath day holy if you can't go to Mass. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2183. So uh, the following goes. If because of the lack of a sacred minister or for other grave cause participation in the Eucharist, celebration of the Eucharist is impossible, it is especially recommended that the faithful take part in the liturgy of the word. If it is celebrated in a, a parish church or another sacred place according to the prescriptions of the diocesan bishop, or engage in prayer for an appropriate amount of time, personally or in a family, or as, a, as the occasion offers in groups of families. So obviously, Liturgy of the Word is highly um, encouraged, uh, especially if uh, there's only a deacon available, uh, the Mass can't be celebrated because only, only a bishop and only a priest can consecrate the gifts of bread and wine. However, a deacon can do a communion service um, on top of the Liturgy of the Word. So uh, if for some strange reason you cannot have a uh, Mass celebrated for, for that particular day, uh, your obligation is still fulfilled. Uh, now there's obviously other ways to do this too. If, if you can't even make it to church, if you're homebound or you're in the hospital or you're traveling, um, typically uh, you're usually exempt. However, um, for the people who want to do something special still and try to make that day distinct from the other days of the week, um, there is um, obviously Lexio Divinia, which uh, you read the sacred scripture faithfully. You can read the um, readings uh, according to that Sunday. Um, of what, whatever liturgical year you're, you may be in, whether it's A, B, or C. Um, you could do uh, uh, a rosary to buy mercy chaplets. You could even do personal prayers. You could do songs. You could do hymns. You could just um, do, you know, pers personal uh, prayer service with uh, your family or a group of people. You know, the catechism says an appropriate amount of time. An appropriate amount of time would probably be, you know, what would you do that would equivalent a church service? Whether it is a liturgy of the word, a communion service, or the divine liturgy itself, the, the Holy Mass. Uh, so an appropriate amount of time would probably be about, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Um, Usually, so uh, there are reasons if you can't make it, um, but usually uh, most people are exempt. Uh, if if you're traveling or you're homebound, and you can't get to a mass. Uh, you're stuck in the hospital. Uh, if a dire emergency comes up, you are usually exempt. However. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't at least try to still keep the Mass holy, or still keep the Sabbath day holy in some way. Um, Christians uh, have trans, um, been celebrating the Sabbath on Sunday because the, uh, the Lord rose again on Sunday. Um, typically, our Jewish ancestors in the faith celebrated on the last day of the week, which is Saturday, and Sunday um, was the first day of the week. So uh, they would they would refrain from doing any kind of work on Saturday. However, Christians, because of the merits of the Lord's resurrection, transferred it to Sunday. So anyway, um, lots of people when they go traveling. Uh, they often forget about going to Mass, so often they don't go. However, there's a lot of people out there who uh, take the time and effort to explore other parishes because they know, uh, and this is the beauty about being Catholic, is that the, the reading cycles 
are the same no matter where you go uh, as long as it's for the uh, for that particular Sunday Mass. Now if it's for a funeral or a wedding that's a different story. However if it's the 14th week of ordinary time or if it's the first week of the Advent or it's the uh, first week in Lent or something those readings no matter where you go around the world are going to be the same. So, uh, for the Catholics who take the uh, appreciation to explore whenever they travel uh, out of state or out of country even, uh, get that appreciation uh, to celebrate the same liturgy. Uh, the only thing that may be different would obviously be whether the Mass may be celebrated by an Archbishop or a Cardinal or even the Pope himself. Um, and obviously the homilies are going to be different. but. It's going, to be this, it's going to be the same sacrifice, it's going to be the same, uh, it's, it's going to be the same sacrifice and that's what counts. Uh, so, uh, what I would also do uh, too is, uh, often we forget to refrain from doing certain things that we shouldn't do on Sunday. Sunday should be less rigorous and more relaxing. Um, we like to do a lot of things and um, we should really take the time to rest and refrain from doing things that we shouldn't do. Um, so like you shouldn't necessarily go shopping on Sunday if you don't have to. You shouldn't necessarily do work for payments on Sunday if you don't have to. Now if you choose to do that, that's fine. Um, but, at least in my opinion, I think it is um, not emphasizing greatly enough the refrain from certile work um, on the Sabbath. Um, now, there's obviously a difference between works of payments and works of voluntary, voluntary uh, acts of charity uh, where you don't get paid. Those are perfectly fine. Now, if you choose to do that on your Sunday, that's, that's great. But... Uh, Again, those are the type of works that you don't expect payment for, but you are just doing out of, uh, out of the sake of volunteering and for the sake of uh, loving God and loving neighbor. Um, but to work to get payments or to make someone else do work, um, I think denigrates the sacredness of the feast or the, uh, of the uh, obligation of resting. Uh, you should be spending time with uh, God, you should be spending time with family. The reason why our world right now is crazy is because we don't get enough family time. Because the family is always working. Mom, dad, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, whoever it may be, they're always working. So why not give a day of rest, huh? I mean, why not coordinate your schedules, go to church, spend time with family afterwards, rest, whether that is, you know, just sitting back, reading a book, or watching TV, or going outside uh, and, you know, just taking a small walk. Uh, that's something that you can do where it doesn't necessarily mean you have to get paid to do it. Um, so, there are all kinds of uh, things that we could do to refrain from... Uh, uh, working uh, and for, first of all it's like uh, you know just don't go shopping you know go to church go home and if there's some free activities to do where you don't necessarily have to have somebody obligated to be there then fine great do that um, but really another thing too if you do choose to do work don't have it necessarily be on such a rigorous uh, schedule that there's no ability to lay back and uh, be a little bit more relaxed in it because uh, this is supposed to be a day where you rest everything uh, the, the people who are more well rested are usually the ones who are better prepared to handle their Monday mornings so uh, there, there's that to think about uh, Refraining from work uh, is very um, refreshing 
and makes you ready to do Mondays more easier as opposed to be try to do everything on Saturday and do everything on Sunday and there's no time to rest. Well, where's your weekend? It, it's gone. You now have to wait another five days to get it or however how long it is before you get the, the next uh, the next uh, day off. So anyway, uh, the Lord's Day, if, if, if you can't make it to Mass, uh, at least try to go to your scatteration. Um, pray the Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, do Liturgy of the Word, uh, Lexio Divinae, uh, you know, uh, or even, you know, just getting together with family and friends and just doing personal prayers. I mean, uh, for a certain disclosed amount of time. <coughs> so, the, the Catechism right there, in paragraph 2183 says that uh, it's perfectly acceptable to do that if you can't, if for a lack of a sacred minister or other grave purposes. Due, the, due to the priest shortages, there are some parts in not only uh, the country, but in local states that have more rural areas where there may not necessarily be a priest available to save us. So there's that to, uh, to consider, um, especially if you look at Africa too, uh, or South America, or uh, Europe or you know any other place uh, where uh, the Catholic population exceeds the clergy population, uh, it's it's going to be difficult to have the priests you know be able to keep up with be able to say all the masses for all the people they need to say it for. So the the church in her wisdom pres prescribes the ability to make exceptions uh, if you cannot make. Um, Mass uh, for that particular Sunday. There, there are ways around it. There are not a lot, but there are some. Um, typically, most dioceses and bishops will place um, dispensations. So, um, this isn't necessarily binding. But if the people, if the individual person feels led to do this, then I would recommend it. Um, I'm sure the bishop would recommend it. The, the priest. Uh, uh, anybody uh, who is, you know, trying to honestly still keep the Sabbath day holy, if uh, if they can, especially if they can't meet the ordinary means of doing so. So, um, anyway, I'll probably release another video on this um, because it's a, a vast topic. Um, but anyway, if you can, guys, go to church, uh, go to mass. Uh, Gertz Gatoration, what, what, whatever you can do. Uh, and uh, happy Sunday.